Hello guys, today we will be learning class AB power amplifier. Now question arises in your mind that if I have class A amplifier, if I have class B amplifier, what is the class AB power amplifier? Yes, your guess is correct. When I'm clubbing all the advantages of class A and class B power amplifier to reduce the disadvantages from class A and B as well to form class AB power amplifier. Let's see how it works. <music> As we all know that power amplifier of class B suffers from the crossover distortion. Even if I am using push-pull power amplifier, harmonic distortion some extent I can reduce but crossover distortion is making something different for class B power amplifier. What we will have to do? In class AB power amplifier, we are adding the advantage of class A amplifier that is nothing but I am just enhancing the Q point towards the active region. That means I am taking the advantage of class A power amplifier and with that I am saying that I am applying VB, VB to avoid the crossover distortion and with that only I can occur, I can get with that only I can get this particular Q point just above the cut off point. So that particular point of Q point is also called as cut in region, right? So when I am talking about class AB power amplifier, your Q point is at cut in point okay let's study about this particular circuit diagram especially called as the class ab power amplifier with complementary symmetry complementary symmetry class b power amplifier we have studied and that is nothing but related with npn transistor as q1 and pnp transistor as q2 when q1 is working it will form the emitter follower when q2 is working it is also forming the emitter follower but in different half cycle Let's study in the positive half cycle what happens. In positive half cycle whenever we have learned the class B power amplifier that was just without VB bias right so that forms your class B power amplifier as it is. If I am talking about VB then what VB is doing? VB is generally having voltage 0 0.7 okay that is nothing but to avoid this particular voltage 0 0.7 okay. So this current will not wait till 0 0.7 to reach okay so what will happen current will flow even if the voltage 0 0.7 say below hoga right that is provided by vb so particular bias point just above 0 0.7 if i am giving then i can achieve the conduction angle also more than 180 degree so ek tir mein do shikar mere ho gaye first of all i have reduce the crossover distortion and secondly I can achieve the conduction angle more than 180 degree as well. How it gets operated? In the first half cycle I am saying that Q1 will conduct and Q1 will conduct Q2 is cut off in the first half cycle. In the second half cycle I am saying that Q2 is conducting and Q1 is cut off. Then what is the addition of this particular VB? VB is provided to avoid the crossover distortion that's it. Let's study how it can be achieved by just adding two diodes. As I know that if I am providing the DC supply with 0 0.7 volt that is the same as that of your diode with 0 0.7 volts right in between. So I can say that if I am applying V in right and this diode if I am placing that is as it is the bias voltage 0 0.7 with the respective direction right so that is nothing but with class ab with diode biasing right this is what we have learned from the class ab push pull power amplifier okay so this is also called as push pull power amplifier another thing that we can make as instead of diode i can say that this diode is having internal resistance and due to that resistance only i am getting 0 0.7 volts okay so what i can say that i can have three resistors in between instead of diodes or bias voltage now question arises why do we require this it is not ideal case that q1 and q2 having same vbe voltage 0.7 or 0.6 q1 may be having 0.7 q2 may be having 0.5 right so in that case what we'll have to do we'll have to put 
one more resistance that is nothing but let's say rx right and i want to change that resistance such that i can achieve to reduce to destroy completely that crossover distortion okay so even if zero voltage is given right and towards positive side q1 will start conducting right even if v in voltage input voltage is given zero volt and it is going towards just negative side then q2 will conduct q1 will cut off so this can be achieved by just varying this particular resistor in between rb1 and rb2 right and this is how i can say that adjustable class ab power amplifier more many circuits are been uh, discovered in this few years for class ab power amplifier by just using current mirror circuits as well but for your syllabus we are restricting to this particular two types of class ab ka amplifier right first is adjustable power amplifier second is with diode power amplifier and obviously one fundamental circuit we have with ba voltage bias circuit with class ab power amplifier whatever we have studied i hope you have understood well for the operation of class ab amplifier and what is the cause of ab amplifier this is because to reduce the cross over distortion and to achieve the high efficiency obviously efficiency of class ab amplifier is same as that of class b amplifier but the conduction angle increases due to which i will get the more enhancement over the class b power amplifier thank you so much for watching this particular video i hope you have enjoyed this videos subscribe the channel of ikeda for adc2 enjoy with adc2 thank you so much